We, um, we're trying to help, certainly in the UK at the London show, 100% optical, we're trying to help British opticians understand how to move forward and what it is to be an independent optician, what that really means and how to present it and what that means to their public, which is the most important thing. I think you agree, agree. And what about independent frames? Yeah, it's introducing independent frames. A lot of good exhibitors here bringing new products, and that's really exciting to see. And a lot of people, opticians, even if, even if there's only a small amount, and right now it's a relatively small market that are ready for this independent flourish that's happening, um, they're interested. The others are interested. They want to find out more. They want to educate themselves, and they can make an informed decision. So even if people don't want to go in that direction, at least they're getting the knowledge uh, and, and seeing what the uh, the options are that are out there to be able to make that decision. That's really important. But I think one thing that I've noticed is is that people need to understand what independent really means. What is that? What does independent well, really mean? There's a whole package around this. So it's not just about having independent brands or one or two independent brands. It's about embracing the whole um, attitude of independence in everything that you do. Uh, so for example, the environment of your store, if you haven't got the right environment of your store, there's no point in putting beautiful Kirk and Kirk frames up if you've got some shitty old 1970s rack uh, and you're displaying the frames on there. And there's no point in having Kirk and Kirk next to a whole bunch of Luxottica and Sofilo products because it confuses the consumer and they don't understand the value of the different products and why they're there. So it's it's the product, uh, it's the environment, it's the staff, are the, are the people that are working and communicating with you and communicating with the consumer, are they communicating in the right way? Are they suggesting um, the right kind of atmosphere and, and the right kind of um, philosophy behind wearing an independent frame, an independent yeah, brand. I agree. And then, now more than ever, it's communication outside of your store. So what are you saying about your store? Is your whole message about um, everything that you stand for, all your philosophy, your ethos? Is you that mean like out social there? media? Or? Well, it's social media, but it's everything. You know, people use social media, and that's that's a given now, uh, the different types of social media. But there's all sorts of communication that people do, and, and you're constantly an ambassador for your, for your frames. And even more than that, the people that are wearing the frames that you've sold to them, or whatever services you've sold them are out there giving you reviews whether sure. it's a conscious and a, like a, a proper Google review or a Facebook review or whether it's just word of mouth these people are out there talking and people communicate more than ever so the power of each individual consumer is really really important strong yeah. window dressing is not just your window absolutely yeah. it's every single aspect of your communication stuff to think about guys thank you lots uh, Jason thank you thanks All for right. having me have a great show cheers thank you